Good morning everyone! Today we are having another bit late start but not that late start so it's around half past 10 which is okay-ish. Yesterday on the live stream I said that I have a really slow internet connection so the previous video is not up yet so there will be one task for today is to find a good internet connection. The second thing what I also mentioned on the stream that wearing in a tire. Here you can see it. Hopefully it will be good till mines, which is the main goal of today. Maybe if I be really good, we can make a bit more progress, but mines is the main goal. In mines, I need to figure out something. We'll see. Okay, my very new thing to complain about is that we have too many castles. I mean, I did like four kilometers or five kilometers, but I seen like three castles and I always wanted to stop to make some footage about them, but that way I won't make any progress. So from now on, I will just stop at extremely good looking castles maybe this is just my thing but i really like castles i, I didn't know i didn't actually know this about myself During the breakfast I was able to upload one person and now we are at 30 percent which is great and another good news for you Judith is finished all of the subtitles thank you very much Judith I approved all of them now you can watch it in Hungarian as well by the way today's progress is so far not that great but hopefully after I can finish the video and I can just <laughs> deplete all of my batteries with the drone we can just follow the route and, and go on. Because Mainz is just like 78 kilometers away, which is not a lot. Why does every letdown have to be so thin? Rain explodes at the moment that the cab door closed. I feel the weight upon your kiss ambiguous. So the scenery is the best so far, I think. It doesn't help in the progress, but never mind. I'm just complaining as always. Incredible amount of castles. <laughs> so I can highly recommend this. Although the cycle roads are somewhat nice, somewhat tricky and somewhat frustrating when they are like cobblestones or anything. So far I had all my accommodations through booking.com. You make a reservation and almost in an instant you can just show up at your place and get your room ready. So I say perfect. The German reality is hitting in. Previously I could have a decent accommodation for like around 30 pounds. Like in almost every country. But here around Mainz the average price is around 100. 120 pounds. 
I don't know if I've mentioned before, but actually general elections are on Sunday here in Germany. So it seems that my best option is to stay in Mainz, accommodation-wise, because after that there are just small villages which are more expensive or they are overbooked. It's not good for the plan. At least it's a nice day, I can enjoy the ride to Mainz. And we should eat something as well. This is a bit of a leftover from the today's Frühstück. This environment is quite okay. Unfortunately, I'm having the rather usual Airbnb experience. I just messaged the host of this listing. Haven't replied back since two hours. So I guess I need to search for another one. This is what I really don't like in Airbnb. Later. I had to give up on Airbnb, so I ended up booking through booking.com, but actually it was not that bad. So around 43 pounds, which is good with fresh tip, of course. It's like 17 kilometers and I'm there, which means I can promote the live stream and I can service the bike a bit. A few moments later. I just stopped for a bit because I needed some material for today's live stream. Akush is about to go live. It's exactly 8.30, Mainz, Friedrich Eberstrasse 20. <laughs> I, I realized that at this DHL station, this this is somebody's proper delivery. I, I don't know if it's sad or, or funny. Nice! I think it's my biggest room so far. I love it when they are giving us Haribo. Two Haribos! So today's last challenge after the live stream or maybe before the live stream is to switch tires. I decided that I'm not going the capitalist way now. So I'm not buying a new one, but I'm switching the front with the rear. And I think that should hold for the rest of the trip, but we'll see. Two hours later. If you haven't seen the live stream at first, you missed a lot. We decided I'm not going to continue with the daily videos. I will create only live videos from now on to give me a lot more free time. This is good because I might be able to cover more distance. Basically, because of this, I have now accommodation for tomorrow. So this is in Hotel Golden as Fast. And the hotel itself is in Freidenberg am Main. I think we are delayed enough to just take care of the tire changing tomorrow. I can go to sleep around 11 o'clock. How convenient. I think I will continue to record as usually I do, but I am not going to edit it on the go. For me this challenge was more like if I am able to do one video every day, we can clearly see that I can edit a video every single day. After all, this is not much of a challenge now, just... Uh, and yeah, I, I figured it out. 
why am I losing mobile data so fast? The navigation itself consumed like 3.8 gigabytes. I planned my cycle route before with cycle maps and I exported that and I imported it back to best.me so actually I can follow the same routes. I was more than happy with cycle maps when it didn't give me directions to dirt roads and grass and field but it was still better than google maps so yeah that's that's good i read these videos after the trip it was a fun thing to do during the trip but now i would like to focus a bit more on the experiences what i can get here and now and when i have time deal with the videos later so see you tomorrow